What do you think are your team's chances in the cup? We here to win. To win the World Cup. What does we here for? <laughs> Hi friends. In the year 1983, India scored 183 runs in Cricket World Cup final and ended up winning 1983 World Cup. This was an unexpected event and this was not just another sports event. This was a very significant event in the history of India and the director Kabir Khan tried his best to bring to us the important event through his movie named 83. This is Swadhin and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to stream about the Hindi movie uh, 83. I was very interested to watch this movie uh, for a very long time but uh, for some reason I couldn't watch this movie in theater when it got released in uh, October or November. I think December it got released and I couldn't watch at that time for some reason. Uh, but, uh, uh, but after uh, some delay it finally got released in Netflix and also in Disney uh, plus Hotstar and so you can if you guys want to watch this movie you guys can check this movie out out in netflix or disney plus hostel whichever uh, streaming platform you are subscribed to before i start talking about this movie i would like to tell you do do hit the like button uh, and uh, give uh, give a upvote to my video and do hit the subscription button to subscribe my channel and beside that there is a bell icon don't forget to hit the bell icon and uh, you can also follow me on my social network pages is uh, like facebook my page on my instagram or in my twitter the links for the social network uh, pages will be given below in the description box and I think uh, this was a very difficult uh, movie to make. Sportsmen do have their privacy in dressing rooms and they have dressing room secrets. And it's not uh, easy for filmmakers to show everything. It is very different from showing somebody's biopic. So far we have only seen a uh, sports person's biopic but not a specific event, a specific tournament like this. Uh, 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 and to make a movie on a particular cricket series tournament is very difficult. It can uh, also be quite boring because cricket is visually not a great uh, thing, uh, not very entertaining things to watch in a movie. But in uh, this 2 hour 42 minutes movie, I really never felt bored and I, uh, I was obviously knew most of the incidents shown in the movie because of my interest in the game of cricket. I knew many of the incidents. I've seen various interviews and made various stories about uh, 1983 World Cup. But I still enjoyed this movie a lot. Uh, I read a lot of negative reviews for this movie. And to be honest, I can understand that people who don't have the mindset to understand uh, the sports or uh, uh, might not like this movie so much or not aware of the uh, history and the uh, relevance of uh, this cricket win might not like this movie but uh, if you ask any sports person I'm sure that the most of the people who are associated with sports they would definitely like this movie a lot and if they are with, associated with cricket they will definitely like I guess that's uh, very understandable and uh, it it's not an exceptionally great movie. There are quite a few things that I didn't like about this movie. But let me uh, first talk uh, the things that I didn't like so much. Firstly, I didn't like the entire Deepika Padukone episode, which was uh, looked uh, sh uh, looked uh, very forced in the movie. Kapil Dev himself said in an uh, in interview that his wife had nothing to do with the World Cup tournament, and she was probably not present in the tournament as well. Um, uh, 
but the filmmaker uh, did take some uh, creative liberty uh, to show that uh, uh, his wife had a very important role uh, in World Cup uh, cricket and uh, he has uh, shown a lot of creative liberty. Secondly, I didn't lo- I like the way the Caribbean supporters were portrayed in the movie towards the ending, in the climax. Everybody knows that uh, uh, they have their way of celebrating and uh, they uh, uh, play music and dance and uh, in the stadium. That is what they do and everybody know that. I don't think that there was any reason uh, to kind of mock them or anything like that. It is their way of celebrating and there was nothing... Uh, 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 Issue. There's no issue about that. There's uh, the way that is their way of celebration, and I felt that uh, it was a bit uh, wrong to uh, the way it was shown that they were jumping on uh, Deepika Padukone's face, and she, then she's saying and those things were a little. Uh, there was not required in the movie. It was unnecessarily uh, added. I felt. Um, uh, I could have, uh, we could have learned a little bit more about the other players too, but uh, they didn't show much about the other players. It's a few things I thought was very well knit about this movie. Uh, uh, I thought the filmmaker did uh, um, a great job in highlighting the significance of the World Cup win for India and also for the country like Pakistan, who was uh, there were soldiers who were consistently uh, in conflict in the border at that time and also how future cricketers like Sachin Tendulkar got inspired from 1983 World Cup. He also showed the impacts on NRIs who were uh, in England at that time and there was their stories too. And so he created uh, small characters uh, to highlight that how people from different uh, background, like different communities uh, and different uh, religion and uh, uh, different people of different ages got affected uh, by 1983 World Cup and how uh, the entire nation uh, celebrated. And I thought. Um, it is not an easy thing to show the the spirit of the game and how how much it mattered to India, and I think uh, uh, in this regard the uh, filmmaker did a great job to portray that that how much it is important the win was how much the win was important, and they actually showed uh, how. Uh, uh, the two conflict zone was affected due to this uh, event. One conflict zone was inside a country and other is uh, in the border and how it was affected. I also like the way uh, Sachin Tendulkar was included in the movie. It was very nice addition and also I like the way uh, Mahinda Ramannath plays uh, the character of his father Lala Ramannath uh, who uh, who was also a great cricketer of his time uh, and uh, he plays the character of his father and it was nice to watch him uh, in that cameo. Uh, Kapil Dev also played a, uh, uh, did a small appearance in the scene as a fan cheering for Kapil, on-screen Kapil Dev which was a nice uh, 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 thing and which was a rich kind of bring you smile on your face and I love the way the cricket matches were portrayed in this movie it looked quite authentic and also used some footage um, for uh, every time somebody is looking at the television uh, they are actually watching the original footage so the way it was done it looks very authentic and to create a 1983 era uh, and that uh, kind of footage must have been quite difficult so we get to see the real footage uh, side by side uh, which is great and uh, which is also and we can see how similar it is with the movie so that's a great uh, way that uh, he has made this movie the songs and the musics are also very well used I like the song 
they were really nice. I thought uh, Jeete Ga India was my favorite uh, from song from this movie. It was a very nice song. And acting wise, I felt all actors uh, actually did a great job. They didn't uh, mimic any cricketers, but uh, through their body language, expression, and even through uh, voice modulation, um, uh, we can understand that uh, we, who are the cricketers there playing and uh, it was a great job that I feel that all the cricketers uh, did. I felt that they were very successful in convincing uh, the audiences about the character that they were playing and Ranveer Singh as a lead playing uh, Kapil Dev definitely had a uh, most uh, difficult uh, uh, job and he was uh, wonderful and he did a great job doing playing Kapil Dev. One of my most, uh, um, one of the most important matches that India played against Zimbabwe, uh, where Kapil Dev scored 175 and, and uh, not out, in which is a record. And at that time, uh, uh, only BBC had the broadcasting rights, and they were uh, in uh, strike, I believe. And so there were no footages of uh, that match, and that match took place in uh, 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 in Neville Ground, the Tumbridge in Wells. And if you see that ground, it's uh, it is an entirely uh, different kind of a ground as shown in the movie. It's surrounded with trees and there are pavilions and in the movie uh, they showed uh, the ground in a very different way. They showed that uh, uh, even uh, the match if I'm not mistaken uh, was shown in a very uh, different way uh, compared to what happened uh, uh, in the actual match. I think uh, uh, in this place, uh, the director took a bit of a creative liberty by showing that the glasses were breaking down and uh, everywhere, and it's kind of a wake up kind of a, a thing. Like people are people are getting bored or anything. Like wake up, we have to fight. And uh, I thought that, uh, and there were uh, grounds in UK and places such things did happen in cricket. Uh, so, but I'm not sure whether in that particular match uh, those things happen. So the director used that in this movie very well and took a bit of a creative liberty where he could. And at the end, uh, uh, when India wins the World Cup, we all uh, really feel how important that match is for India, and we all really feel the happiness and. Uh, and we really, uh, the way it was done was beautiful. At that time, there was nothing, uh, India was truly uh, leading in any uh, thing. In 1983, there were only eight teams that were playing a cricket World Cup, and there was. Uh, uh, there was uh, definitely uh, teams like England and Australia uh, were very uh, uh, powerful boards. They had the powerful board, cricket board, and their, uh, everything. And there were lots of uh, underlining of racism. Uh, the teams uh, like West Indies faced, and India were looked down upon as weaker and inferior. So, director, without directly. Uh, 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 directly uh, accusing any what body, uh, there he addressed the issue somehow and able to highlight those uh, aspect uh, indirectly, like uh, in places where um, uh, when we sing talks about West Indies team, like how he they became uh, successful, and then in the uh, movie they directly show that how Indian team uh, faced problem and they were shown that the English fans and the Indian fans getting to fight after matches and there were many scenes when the Indian players were play, uh, praising the West Indies team but I don't know the, whether the really uh, Indian and uh, uh, English uh, fans fought uh, but the, uh, the fans and the uh, public were fighting in the 1983 World Cup I don't know about that I wish I could no, if anybody know anything about that, do write down in the comment section. I I want to 
uh, also let you know that there is no country like West Indies exists. Uh, West Indies is only a cricket uh, team controlled by Windward uh, Cricket Board of uh, Cricket, which consists of four sovereign states like Dominica, Saint Lucia, Saint uh, Vincent, and, and uh, Grand. Nadines. So there is no team name West Indies, and they are very, uh, they were very respectable and very popular team at that time. And everybody in the world, including Indians fans, used to love and support them a lot uh, uh, in those times when India was not very popular in cricket. They used to support them and like them a lot. And as the movie rightly shows, that they were very tall and they were very strong cricketers and a uh, team all over the world used to be quite af afraid of them to be honest and until 1983 World Cup there were only two World Cup that took place previously in one in 1975 and another in 1979 and West Indies team uh, won both the World Cup so you can imagine that how uh, great that team was and how well uh, they used to play to win two successive World Cup, the first two World Cup, and uh, anyway, overall I enjoyed this movie a lot. And at the end, uh, when India win in this movie, the directors capture uh, the emotions of people from different uh, uh, places and different uh, regions of India and different ages, different communities, how they react and how they celebrate and uh, and uh, that I thought was a beautiful scene and the way the victory is celebrated every part of India, people of different background and it was a beautiful and very uh, moving scene in this movie. It was uh, like uh, uh, it was like uh, uh, it was like showing like India is having a new level of confidence for f to do something, and I loved that scene a lot. I thought it was beautiful scene, and uh, my rating for this movie is eight out of ten. So do write down in the comment section uh, what you liked or disliked about this movie, and. Uh, uh, let me know and if you have any suggestions do write down in the comment section be safe take care and cheers